today we are going to be baking um, one of my favorite box brownie mixes, which is this Ghirardelli um, double chocolate premium brownie mix. And we are going to pair that with um, my favorite home brewed coffee, which we will also make. Um, so let's get started. First off, we are gonna start this video by showing you our ingredients that we have here. First, we are going to gather our ingredients and materials all in one place. Um, our ingredients include a fourth cup of water, which is right here, a third cup of vegetable oil, which is already measured out, and then one egg is what the recipe calls for. Um, within this box, it comes with a um, boxed um, or a pre-made brownie mix. So we have that, and then we have our mixing bowl, which we'll mix all our ingredients in, and a whisk, which I um, use. I also um, just wanna note that a, um, a KitchenAid is also totally acceptable, so that will work um, if you have one of those at home or an electric mixer of any type as well. So before we begin mixing these ingredients, um, something that I like to do beforehand is a little bit of prep work, um, and that includes preparing um, our tin, um, that these brownies will go in. Um, we're gonna grease the tin and then we are gonna put parchment paper over it because it makes the removal process with the brownies so much easier. Um, and then we are also going to, um, very important note, set the timer to 320, or sorry, set the oven um, to preheat at 325 um, Fahrenheit. So we're gonna do that. So come along with me. So here is our brownie tin that we are going to use. Um, I like to use Pam baking flour um, to grease the tin. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I just kind of like to put some um, spots kind of everywhere, especially around the side of the tin um, to make sure we get all of those um, places. I also have already um, pre-cut a little bit of parchment paper. So that will go on top of the grease. And um, that is seen here. I grabbed a um, paper towel and I kind of just kind of spread the grease around um, to make sure it gets all the surfaces of the pan. It will kind of look something like this. And that will make our application process with the brownie mix so much easier um, in the long run. And it will also make the, um, the cleaning process of this pan so much easier. And to finish off this prep work, we are going to set this to bake. Um, this is my oven at home. Set it to 325, should be around. 50 to 25 and that is set it says preheating and there is nothing in the oven so we are good to go we are now going to start by mixing our dry ingredients into um, this bowl right here so that includes our brownie mix um i'm going to add that to the bowl and I would like to add that this mix actually already comes with chocolate chips, so you don't have to worry about that. However, if you do want to modify it, um, I've read that adding dried fruit, um, candy of your choice, um, like little uh, crumbs of it, um, adding coffee in substitute to the water, um, that all works really well. Um, you can really up your box brownie recipe if that's what you choose to do. However, um, for this video, we're just going to um, stick to the box brownie mix. So since we have already added this brownie mix to the bowl, um, we are now going to add in our wet ingredients. So that includes the fourth cup of water, which is right here. Add that in there. Uh, the third cup of vegetable oil here, add that in. And then adding in, of course, our last ingredient, the egg. So I'm just gonna like that. Add that in there. Careful not to include any shells. Um, so that's important. And then we are going to, so it'll all look like this, or sorry about that, like this with everything and then we're gonna start um, mixing it. 
So it's super important that as you're mixing, um, you should make sure to mix all your ingredients together. Once this mixing process is done, it will look something like this. Um, as you can see, all of the ingredients are mixed in. There's no um, little pockets or um, speckles of the um, brownie mix. So you can tell that all of it's mixed in. It should all look kind of one color. Um, and now we are ready to move um, the brownie mix into the brownie um, pan. So this is basically what it looks like once I've transferred the brownies. Right now I'm gonna try to spread them evenly across the pan. It's kind of touching the parchment paper. So what I'm gonna do is spread this evenly and um, it will look ready. It will be prepared to be put into the oven. Now we are going to place um, our brownies in the oven. Um, we're gonna make sure that they are towards the middle. They're in the middle rack um, in the middle of the oven. And then we're gonna close that. It's set to 325. Um, and now we're going to set the time. The box um, recipe that I'm using, it calls for um, 39 uh, minutes to 43 minutes baking time. Um, however, I'm gonna set it to 40 because I'm very familiar with this recipe. And I kinda like to set it to 40 just to make sure that they're not getting overbaked. Um, and then I usually check it at five minutes before 40. So I'm gonna set that. As our brownies are being um, put in the oven and are being baked, we are going to prepare our cafe um, to go with it um, at the very end. So what I like to do, I have here a coffee filter, single filter, um, pot of, almost a pot, but it is um, water with the, um, the right amount of water that you want um, for the amount of coffee you wanna brew. And um, I have here some ground coffee beans. Um, these are, you can use any kind of coffee you'd like, um, that you prefer, um, but I am going to then put all of that into my coffee machine here and we are going to um, get that prepared. So in preparing our coffee maker, we have added in the filter um, to the right compartment, um, four scoops of um, our coffee beans, which were from there. And now we are going to add in the water. So the water goes in this compartment here and we just fill it up as needed. There we go. And then that is gonna go right under here. And then we just fix our filter here. Make sure that is all snug and tight. There we go. Close the top. And then our last step is to actually turn the machine on to brew. Here's at five minutes. We are going to check our brownies, but first we are going to grab um, a skewer pulling the brownies out of the oven, we have conducted our um, little uh, skewer test. Unfortunately, I was not able to find a skewer. However, I was able to find a knife. And basically what you're looking for is you're gonna put your skewer or your knife, which works just as well in the middle, and then make sure nothing um, comes out or basically make sure that um, it's not raw, um, checking to see if it's baked all the way. So that obviously looks really good. Um, how I can tell is basically what you want to achieve is something like this. Um, so you, a little bit of the batter is still left, but not to where it's um, liquid-like, um, but basically it's okay to have a couple moist crumbs on the tip of it, and then um, you know that your brownie is um, ready to uh, be cooled. So we are gonna put this in the fridge um, for about 15 minutes. And so once that's cooling, um, we will then be able to um, cut our brownies because we don't wanna cut the brownie um, too soon because that will make the process really um, sticky and just very messy. So we don't wanna cut our brownies until after they've been cooled. So this is the final product. Um, they look super great. They also feel um, both moist, um, really nice and fluffy, but they also have a nice crispy 
um, as you can see, a very crispy layer to them on the top. So I cooled them for 15 minutes and cut them, and this is what they look like as our final product. And now for our finished product, we have our brownie and our coffee. And um, the finished product was supposed to look like this. Obviously, this um, article that I got it from, it has nuts, so they added nuts with it. But this is our final product of all of our ingredients. So thank you all so much for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope that you all can make your own um, wonderful box brownies um, in many innovative ways and enjoy um, the... Uh, reapings of your um, hard work.